Hi, I'm Rory Chowdhury, and in this video, we're going to look at the options available to you to protect your IT infrastructure from the effects of a potential disaster. Disasters happen. They could be man-made, they could be natural, floods, earthquakes, and the like. And the impact of a disaster upon your business can be catastrophic. Impacts range from the negative effect on your revenues or profits. You can have really poor effect upon customer satisfaction. Your employee productivity might be affected. And of course, the impact on your reputation may be such that you don't recover from it. Given this, why is it that we don't all implement business continuity procedures and disaster recovery plans and processes? Well, the reasons are quite simple. We know that many companies consider disaster recovery plans and processes to be complex and difficult to implement, added to which they can be expensive to set up and maintain. They may not be reliable, and of course they need to be in order to provide protection. And most of all, these processes can be very hard to test in advance of them being required in a real disaster. Let's look at some of the solutions that are available from VMware to help with both business continuity and protecting against disasters and recovering from them should they happen. We'll start by looking at some of the solutions we have that enable you to protect workloads and individual hosts. Let's talk about a feature built in to VMware's vSphere technology called vMotion. And what vMotion allows you to do is if one of your hosts fails with the VM residing upon it, you can move the VM or it can be moved automatically by vSphere across to another host where it will just automatically continue running. The application is completely available to the end user. Next, I'd like to talk about high availability. What high availability does is should for any reason your host fail or your virtual machine fail, vSphere will automatically restart that virtual machine. And within a few minutes, the workload is automatically available in the environment again. Finally, I'd like to talk about a feature called fault tolerance. What fault tolerance does is it keeps a live working shadow copy of the virtual machine in the environment such that if anything happens to the virtual machine or the host upon which it's running, vSphere will automatically bring to life the live copy. Somebody using the applications will barely notice any outage at all. These are the solutions that are available to protect workloads and the hosts upon which they run. What I'd like to talk about next is the solutions that help to protect the entire data center. In this picture, we've looked at a primary site and a backup site. This is for ease of drawing, quite frankly. You could have both of these sites backing up to each other. You can back up to multiple sites, or you can even have backing up to the cloud. I'd like to introduce you to a concept that we call replication. And replication is the process of taking your workloads and their associated disk files and having replica copies available to you in a backup location such that if anything happens to your primary site, the workloads automatically become available from your backup site. VMware has two technologies that allow you to take advantage of replication. First of all, let me talk about vSphere replication. And vSphere replication achieves that process of spinning up the replica copies by copying across the network. vSphere replication is a free feature built in to vSphere. And then I'd like to introduce you to a product called Site Recovery Manager. SRM is a technology where we have worked with our partners in the storage industry to achieve the same replication across the storage array layer. And that allows you to have much higher performance. So you can choose to have vSphere replication to use for your 
lower priority workloads, and that allows you to have a backup uh, recovery objective of about 15 minutes. And Site Recovery Manager can be used for your high priority workloads, which allows you to have much faster backup capabilities. The benefits of having Site Recovery Manager and replication in your environment are that you can set up migration plans, you can test your failover procedures using live workloads, and you can effectively have business continuity and disaster recovery solutions in place that are efficient, effective, and reliable. I would encourage you to install vSphere replication into your environment if you're not already using it. And please do go to VMware.com, download and install a 60-day fully functional trial copy of Site Recovery Manager to test out how it works in your virtual infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.